Hi guys, I've got another x Knight here. I have the x Knight 4 inch from Beta FPV. Quite excited about this one. Hopefully this one's better than the 5 inch version I had. So sit there, let's get this one unboxed. So here it is, the x Knight 4 inch. And Hopefully you caught the five inch that I got, which I wasn't enthralled with, to be honest with you. So here in the box, here in the box we have lovely QR code. I hate QR codes. We have a set of props. Actually, not just one set of props, you get two sets. So that is quite nice. You actually get two sets of props. Very nice. You get your camera board, so you can adjust the settings in your camera. And there you get the four inch drone. Lovely. If I can get it out nicely protected. Put that down there, get these out of the way. So there you have it guys, there's the four inch. A lovely looking little quad actually, looks very nice. There is never like a brand new quad, actually. I do love a brand new quad. It's never going to look like this again. You're going to fly it, you're going to crash it. So there you go. That's what you get out of the box. So there she is. She's a lovely looking little quad. Should be uh, fast as anything. This, is, this flies on a 4S. So I've got one of the 4S batteries kicking around. We'll do a weight exercise in a minute when we get all the props on as well. But you're, you've got these nice little motors. These are the 1505. Uh, they're the 3600 KVs. So they should be pretty quick. The props on here that you use are actually just the two two bladed props, and they're the HQ 4025s. Uh, 4S, like I said, and the battery is going to be an 850 mAh 4S version. So that's, it should be really quick. You've got a lovely. Cadex rattle camera in here. I did a little unboxing of one of those earlier, so you may be able to catch that. So we'll see what the actual footage is like off this camera, and it should be should, should be great footage to be honest with you. It should be a lovely little camera. Nice little antenna on there, right hand polarized, 5.8, standard stuff, but should be a good quality antenna. Inside here, you've got their uh, flight controller and ESC board. One little board, does it all. Lovely little thing. It's on the 20 amps, which is their toothpick range. F4 flights, flight controller in that. Uh, what else is there to tell you about this? Oh yeah, the VTX is their A01, and it power ranges from 25 to 200, and standard 5.8. In here we've got the um, FR Sky receiver, two antenna, which I'm going to be, which is the XM Plus, I believe, is in here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flying it on the Beta FPV Light Radio 2. There's no reason why I can't use this to fly this little four inch. So you'll see how that footage goes shortly. So this comes out of the box. It comes tuned, ready to go. It's got. Beta Flight 4.1.1 on it. It's all tuned up as Beta FP have tuned it. So I'm going to leave it on stock tune, stock rates, and I'm going to bind it up to the controller and I'm going to fly it as is. There should be nothing I really have to do. I will obviously be going through Beta, beta Flight. The only thing I really need to do is just check that all my controls are in the correct place and my switches are correct. Apart from that, you shouldn't really have to do anything and you should just be able to get on that field and fly it because it comes ready made, ready to go. Here she is, props all in place and on. Uh, I did have a couple of issues getting these props on. Some of these bolts just threaded or I just threaded them trying to get them on, but it's obviously they're aluminium and a bit soft, so I had to replace quite a few of them. So be wary of that, try not to over tie them tighten them because you will have to replace them. Also on the back what I've done is I actually put a bolt to raise this canopy a little bit because the antenna if you clip it into the clip here actually does catch on the propellers as the propellers go around. 
it comes with this not actually put into this clip and I think that's because of that reason exactly but I like the security that it actually gives you it makes it nice and tight so just raising that up a little bit clears the props all's good uh, another thing that I don't really like are these antennas they're just a little bit loose a little bit naff so they may have to be moved apart from that yeah she looks good so i've got some scales let's weigh her and see what she comes in at she should be a sub 250 again so let's zero these off so 136 that's pretty good and she'll be flying on this battery right here so this is the 95C and this is the 850. So nice little forest battery. And hopefully she'll weigh into the 250. And there we go. Yay. Sub 250, little quad. 239, all in. No problems. Very happy with that. There you go. So yeah, you get this lovely little... I quite like this hard mount on the bottom as well. You get a nice little mount. Battery goes in. I'll show you that. Battery goes in. And the mount sits on top. Get this in place. There we go. Your battery connects in there. Hard mount sits on top. That actually goes flush and protects the battery a little bit. Well, not overly protect it, but it will help. And yeah, like that, nice little touch. So yeah, so let's take her out and see how she flies.
really like that. Great fun. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that flight footage. I really like this thing, actually. It's super quick, super agile, nimble, turns quick. Uh, yeah, it's really good. One thing I did have issues with, and that is some of these um, nuts or bolts that they supply with it. If you can see in the prop, but uh, I, sh I shedded or shredded some of these tops, trying to actually tighten them up. So I had to actually replace quite a lot of them. There's two good in there, but two have gone in that one, and two went in that one as well. So they're not brilliant. That's probably because they're aluminium and a bit soft. But yeah, I just shredded them and had to replace them instantly. I lost a zip tie there. That's okay. Another thing I'm not too keen about is the antenna location for your receiver. I mean, it's a little bit a little bit loose and I think on some of the footage you will see that this actually came to about this position when I was flying and that's what was in in shot so yes yeah, so I'm gonna look at either replacing these moving them perhaps onto an arm or I may even replace it with a crossfire because obviously I love crossfire and put a mortal T on it but apart from that she was yeah I really liked it really quick I mean you know Top end probably isn't as fast as a five inch, but oh my God, the acceleration, the turns, how light she is, really liked it, great fun. And for the size of her, really good size. And for me, just to chuck in my bag and take with me, perfect. So she will be in my bag constantly with a couple of 4S batteries and I'll be doing my freestyle. And then when I get bored, I'm just gonna pull this out and rip it around for a little bit. Yeah, great little thing to have. If you've got tiny hawks or you've got a little whoop and you're looking to upgrade or something, definitely give this a, a think or have a look at it because it is a great little upgrade. Great little drone. I'm getting quite into these smaller frames actually. I've got loads of five inches and I'm starting to like the little bit of the smaller ones now. Again, they're a bit quieter and I do like the quietness as well rather than screeching around. So just one thing to mention as well, the flight that you actually just saw was actually done with this, this controller here, the Light Radio 2, and it was it worked perfectly. I know they say that this is a beginner controller, but I, I really like it. I mean, for just grabbing some whoops and binding it up to an FR Sky, which is obviously a cheaper receiver, but still pretty good, and I can still use my DJI goggles with the analog mod in it. So I'm quite happy to use this. I have heard some instances of the tracking going off and stuff. I've dead zoned it a little bit but apart from that it's been really good and as you saw from the flight no problem at all so yeah that's a good little one to sort of have in your bag for these little fr sky whoops that you can sort of get hold of quite cheaply these days so yeah very nimble very agile really liked it great fun definitely be in my fpv bag every time i go out now Hit that subscribe guys, hit that thumbs up. I hope you like that. I'm gonna try and do loads more of these reviews, but I obviously need to get a little bit of support behind me so I can just carry on this FPV dream that I have going on. Thanks a lot if you've already subscribed. Thanks again guys, bye.